What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Key, and I'm back with another reaction. So before I get into this reaction, y'all, please make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a post. So today, I'm going to be reacting to Life with Oh My Lie. If you don't know who Oh My Lie is, um, she was a very popular YouTuber at the time. She was known to be in a relationship with Chanel. So the channel used to be Chanel and Oh My Lie. Now it's life before my lie. And for y'all that don't know, they broke up not long ago. And um, Oh My Lie is finally, you know, coming out with a video of her side. And the title says she cheated. So I'm definitely ready to get into this and see what this is about. Um... I did watch Chanel's video, and when I was watching it, I do, I do feel like when I was watching it, I just, something just was telling me it's something that she's not saying. You feel me? So maybe that's what Oh My Lie about to say. We both see. But, oof, the title already got me like, whoa. Like, I knew something wasn't right, but let's get right into it. <sighs> Y'all see by the title what's going down. And I'm finally here to tell my part of the story. I mean, I mean not part of the story, but if this is just the truth. I'm here to it's tell the truth. It's two sides to every story. On, so what happened. What's this happened is her truth. On my, my, I just want to hear my part, right? So a lot of people have been asking me. First of all, I just want to say I didn't rush to make a video to come on YouTube and make a video, a fiend to make a video, you feel me? It, she posted her video like two months ago and I'm just not posting the video. Like, it took me like five months, four, four, four five months to make this video or whatever because I was healing, you feel me? I didn't yeah. want to brush into the world and tell the world. I feel that. Going. She should have to. If in the beginning of our breakup, I would have been distraught on this camera, like distraught, distraught, distraught. So, like, first of all, I know people be like, oh, bashing, bashing. Honestly, at this point, it's like, I'm going to say how I feel. I'm going to say what I want to feel because I've been through a lot of trauma, emotional mm -hmm. damage, and all of that. And it's like, wow. the stuff, it's like, people need to know, like, because there's no, there's no, oh, oh my God, Chanel, yeah, everything is so good. I'm sorry about that, blah, 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 whatever. Whatever y'all was saying, because I watched her video, whatever y'all was saying on the video. And I'm just here to say that <clears throat> fucking like yeah. I left. If I didn't leave, pretty much, I'll still be in a relationship, depressed, getting disrespected, uh. getting cheated on, Whoa. and all of that. Like I don't know who's supposed to deal with that. So she said Chanel cheated. Ooh. And be under you ain't say that. that you feel me? It's emotionally damaging. It's depressing. I was depressed. They'll never say depressed, that. Depressed, 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 depressed. I was, I was asking for like emotional help. Like I would ask her like, yo, like I need your presence. I need your, your affection. Damn. This and that. And I wasn't getting that for more. And I told her, I'm like, yo, That's somebody got right. your attention or something? No, no, nobody got my attention. This is what she always kept telling me. Nobody got my attention. But it's all laws, like it's all laws. First of all, all right, let me just say something good. Ooh, you, everybody know in the beginning of the relationship. First of all, everybody know how I feel about Chanel, like. Yeah. Just based on videos, based on, on Instagram, based on all of that. She like, loves oh, Chanel for real. Adore her, you feel me? Like I'm showing my girls to the world, adore, adore, adore. If you've noticed that I stopped doing that, when it's because I wasn't receiving the same energy, you feel me? Like, yeah. if I'm not receiving the same energy, it's like, I'm not about to look stupid. And also, if you give me energy, like, you moving funny, then also I'm gonna be like, damn, something ain't, something ain't right. Something ain't right, You're starting yeah. to move funny, like, you feel me? Disrespect, you disrespecting me, and you moving funny. <clears throat> this is why I stopped posting her, I stopped posting us, and stuff like that. She stopped wanting to do YouTube videos. I never wanted to stop YouTube videos, do YouTube videos, but she wanted to stop. 
she stopped posting me. She didn't damn near like she she I know everything now about social media, but we on things social media just change. That's media. all. And if you just stop, yeah. it's like I feel like what's going on. Yeah, like and people feel like what's going on. You know why you moving like, funny? Yeah, like, yeah. Huh? And I would do everything for this girl, like to make her happy. Like oh, flowers, this that that all the time. Da da da. And I just felt like it wasn't enough. Like she said, she wasn't enough. She said she told me she needed space. She told me she felt controlled. I don't believe that she felt controlled. I feel like the reason she felt controlled is because she couldn't do what she wanted to do, which was cheat on me. She was coming home three o'clock in the morning, Whoa. every night. Uh, this is the point. This is when it, it started getting crazy. Every night, telling me that she was out with her sister, which was a lie. She was every out night. with whoever she talked to now. That's who she was out making. Like you feel me? And it's like it's like just be real. I asked this girl multiple times. Like, you know, actual like. Yo, who got your attention? Who got your attention? Nobody got my attention. Yo, who got your attention? Nobody got my attention. You lying. Does this gonna make somebody mad if you doing all of this stuff and and, 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 and and you're not telling them what's up? You feel me? Like, yo, tell me what's up. What's good? You want me to just stay here? What you want me for comfort? Because now I see she, in her video she's saying I love her with this and that. Who's supposed to stay in under a roof with somebody who's cheating on them? Being sneaky, being disrespectful, That's crazy. and doing all that. Like, who's supposed to stay under the roof and doing that? Like, you lied and you cheated. That's what it is. Like, I'm telling you, like, stop playing with my, my emotions. And that whole thing just broke me down. Like, that day, that our last argument that we had, <clears throat> I was broken down. I was crying, breaking down, crying in the middle of the living room. Like, what did I do to deserve this? What can I do? What can we do to make this better? Can we go to counseling? I wanted to marry you, this and that. She just stood there, stood there and said, no, I'm going to the gym. I said, yo, this shit so is crazy. Bloody. Like, I never ever felt like this shit in my life. Like, I never felt that emotion of just, what the fuck did I do wrong? Like, yes, we need a space. Yes, and she said something about we was together at, for five years, 24-7. No, we was not, because we, it was times where we was not together. Like, we were making it seem like we were together all the time. And also, she was making it seem like I forced her to be together and I forced to stay around. Like, when you first get with somebody, you want to be with them. She was on me. She wanted me in her pick. She wanted me to, oh, come in, come in, do this, do this, do this. Like, don't make it seem like it was just me, 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 me. Like, it's a together thing. You feel me? It's a together thing. We grew the channel together. We did this together. And I took the channel because I felt that, like, you can't, don't disrespect, you're not going to disrespect me, cheat on me, lie to me, disrespectful, emotionally break me down, have me depressed, and just feel like, oh, you got everything. No, you didn't even want to do YouTube. This is why I took the channel. Like, you don't even want to do it. Now you want to do YouTube, all of a sudden, because you want to do it by yourself, which is fine. Like, this is cool. Like, you can do it by yourself. That's good. Kudos to you. Like, I don't really care. But, and I don't care if people say I'm bashing and bitter because I, nobody, none of y'all was there when I was in the living room, breaking down, when I was in the car. But to be honest, I don't even feel like in this video, I don't feel like she's being bitter. I just feel like she's hurt and she's expressing her emotions. And I feel like this hurts so much that it's hard for her to really find a better, you know, way to do it other than this. But this is really not bashing. This is her just telling her side and, um her truth and what happened, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't think she is acting bitter. Breaking down, crying, I was calling hotlines, I was doing all this, nobody was there to fucking comfort me. Oh, and I was doing that when this girl told me she not loving me no more, for no reason, like. And matter of fact, it was a reason, cause she talking to somebody else, somebody else had her attention. And y'all can see like in the video that she said, she clearly said that she talking to somebody, like. Y'all see it, right? And I just, I just, it's just crazy to me, like, uh, I just left, like, I call my best friend, I'm like, I can't do this no more, what should I do? Uh, I need guidance, like, I'm gonna go crazy, I'm a, like, I'm already broken down, it was to the it's point crazy. where I couldn't feel my body, like, it was just crazy, like, if y'all ever went through a breakup and y'all know, y'all know, this is why I couldn't come on camera, like, soon as that shit happened, there's no way. Yeah. And I saw her crying on camera, I'm telling y'all right now. That's the second time I've seen that girl cry out of five years. So I don't even know, like, Dang if, like maybe her emotions is getting better, her affection, her communication or something. Because anytime I ask her for, like, affection, the commun communication, all of that, it was just me breaking down crying and shit like that. And I never even been like that with nobody. So it was just like, I felt like, damn, 
I'm in love with you, like, uh, and you clearly not in love with me because you told me to my face, I'm not in love with you no more for no fucking reason. I'm like, yo. Yeah, I know that shit hurt, but it happens. Yo, I'm not even about to go. I'm not even gonna go there. I'm not even gonna go. I'm not even gonna let myself get there because I'm telling you, I'm past that shit. I'm past it. I feel good. I'm in a better place in my life. I feel better about myself. I feel like I could find myself now. I, I lost myself within being in that relationship, and sh she was a huge part of it. And a lot of people I've seen were saying, "Oh, she got her body done and she left and she changed up." Yes, I truly believe that has a part of it starting to do with it. I and I, I seen her in her video talking about, oh, I ain't paid for her video, I paid for her body. It's just ridiculous how people can just fucking switch up on you and just talk crazy. Like, I was dead through your whole surgery. Paying for it don't matter to the amount of stuff that I did for you when you got out of surgery. Okay. I took care of you. You couldn't walk. You couldn't pee. You couldn't fucking eat. I was dead. So please don't try to say, oh, you ain't paid for my Like, that kind of mindset is just immature. Like, this is the shit I just, uh, I feel like, damn, I feel like I was used. And I'm now I'm thinking about it, everything that I did in this relationship, I'm really thinking, like, what did she do for me? I'm not talking materialistic stuff, like, buy stuff in my What did she do for me? She didn't have to get confidence. She didn't motivate me to do nothing. <clears throat> but it's like the opposite, one side is I did a lot for this girl, like, a, a lot, a lot of shit behind the scenes. It's just, it's just, I'm not going to talk about the stuff I did for her. I was always there. I'm always the type of person to give, want to help, want to elevate. So her video was contradicting because it's like in the beginning of our breakup, she made the video. Then it's like you on social media bashing me, talking about bashing me. I don't even know, remember, because I don't care no more. But it's like contradicting. You're saying, oh this this that but then on the social media you're saying something totally different like it's it's just it's, it's just confusing like same to me same to like be real for me but anyways um it's like a lot of it's a, it's a lot of stuff mm. to think about what she said in her video but i don't remember maybe but i'm not gonna do a reaction to it unless i don't know for what though like after this video, I really don't want to talk about this. Like, I'm in a yeah, better place. I feel better. I'm in a better headspace. I'm in a better spot in my life. I don't feel depressed anymore. I was depressed, you yeah. Like, I was depressed. I was going through depression. And I know she said, um, we talked about... This how I know. It, it has nothing to do with me as far as how she feel. Because before we even broke up, she was feeling some... Before we, um, she got her body done. And we broke up, she was feeling the same way, depressed, this, that, that, and she told me to my face, it has nothing to do with you. And I told this girl, I'm like, let me know what I could do for you. I'm here for you. She sat there, cried, and told me, it's nothing you could personally do, and it's not you. And I said, okay, it's not me, so I'm just here. But now, as soon as she got her body done, it's me. Like, it don't make no sense. As soon as she got her body done, you're staying out 3 o'clock in the morning. Late night, coming home, smelling like weed. Like, it don't make no sense. As soon as you got your body done, you doing weird shit, like turning up your phone at night, and, 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 and it's just weird shit. Like, it don't make no sense. Stuff like, that she was just doing sneaky. Before. I'm like, all that sneaky shit. Like, it's just, yeah. it's just, who wants to deal with that? And they, and some, they in the bed with somebody and feel like that all the time. Like, you feel me? It's just disrespectful and it's fucked up. Like it's fucked up because everybody knew I was down for this girl. I was ready to marry her. I was ready to celebrate five years with her. I was ready. I never wanted to break up with the girl. She she wanted to break up with me because she said she needed space. She felt controlled. She wanted to break up with me because she found somebody else. She felt controlled because she couldn't do what she want with like be outside and do what she want and not disrespect me you feel me under the roof now that i'm not there you can do what you want if i'm in the presence it's just, I'm, clearly i'm gonna feel you're gonna feel disrespected you feel me like you're disrespecting me i never one time disrespected this girl out of five years i was faithful to this girl i was loyal to this girl i never cheated on her i never fucking um <clears throat> flirted with another girl i never did none of that like i was all about her and it just hurt because like damn i know that shit hurt it just fucking up my trust for for my future, but honestly I mean, it's not because I'm not. It is just a lesson to me. I already told you. Yeah. When I came in on this video and did this video months ago. It would have been a whole different situation for me. I would have been crying, and I'm not coming on the video crying because I did that 
in person. Like I did that in real life. You feel me? And nobody was there. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna cry just for the camera. I did it in real life. Nobody was there. I had to deal with it myself. And um, my friends had to up, deal, deal with it. It's just like if I didn't have my friends and my family, I don't know what I would do. Like seriously, because I honestly was on the verge of just fuck this shit. Like dead ass. Over a uh, over a person, and it should not be like that, like It should. But it's just sudden, like if somebody you think in love with you, just blatantly tell you, like, oh, if I'm like, oh, what's wrong with you? Why are you not happy? Da, da, da. They, don't they don't know. They don't know. I'm just not in love with you no more. In your face, it's like, what the fuck, yo? Like, what the fuck did I do? You didn't do anything. <laughs> it was out of your control at that point because honestly, Chanel should have just been honest and said, you know, how she was feeling. And it seems like maybe at the time she didn't really know. Maybe like, I don't know. I don't really know. And I can't, you know, I can only go off of what she stated in and what Chanel stated. And she's, oh my God, is giving more of a story, which makes sense. You know what I'm saying? But I've been in this situation before, and it's just like, it's out of your control. Once somebody just doesn't want you anymore, once they just over it, once those words come out their mouth that they don't know, it's nothing you can do. Like, I've been here before, so <sighs> that's tough. And this tough. all happened when I came to my uh, brother. I came to, for my brother's birthday. I went it's to Atlanta for four days. It's tough. That's when it went left. She told me she needed to speak up. You know, I was like, oh, I'm going to let her go. Then she said after she got I her body like done, she was like, like this. Told me, I'm like, when I go, something is going to happen. I came back. So when I was in Atlanta, something happened. <clears throat> and I believe that's when the shit really got turned, like, turned up. I, I believe that's when she really did something, like, because I felt it. I was like, you can't. Your intuition, <laughs> your intuition ain't never lying to you. Yeah. But when I got back, she was moving funny, acting funny, so funny which is well. weird, like, and it's just a lot of stuff. Ah, it's a lot of shit, like, that just, the hints is there, like, and I've been knowing, like, just acting like I'm invisible, acting like I don't exist, like, it's just crazy, like, that somebody could just switch up like that. It's crazy that somebody could let another person in, into their world while they're dealing with somebody, like. People do that. And All the time, she, no. uh, in the video she was saying um she wanted this to be civilized there's no civilization when you hurt somebody there's no civilization when not if you done cheated and you lied and you played and you disrespected me make somebody we feel can't be like civil. how you felt what civilization i gotta we go can't be. pack my shit and i left there's no civilization in that i can't out. even be cool i'm done you're not gonna keep doing this it's, it's not, it's not, it, you can't do that. It's, you can't have two people. We can't have three people, four, four people, five people when that one person was giving you that all. For me, like, and it's just fucked up because I just know karma is good. Like, karma and the world gonna realize, and, and, and everybody gonna realize. I, mean, I know who I am. I know my loyalty, and I know I'm, I'm gonna find a woman who respects that and does not. Take that for granted. You definitely and will, for real. We could both share individuality and grow together and grow apart, and that's just how it's supposed to be. And <clears throat> and funny, I just moved on from that whole situation. I will never, ever, 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 ever be back in a relationship or go back to Chanel like ever, because the feeling I felt, I never ever felt that in my life, and I never want to feel that again. And right now, I feel like a new person. Like I don't want to feel like that ever again like depressed and just feel like i just don't want to be here in this world that's how i was feeling i'm being real to y'all that's how i was feeling after that that i will never forget that one day that i was sitting in the car like, so i couldn't move up. i couldn't eat i couldn't speak i was crying i was praying i was calling the hotlines i was doing everything because i'm just like what is going on i never felt this so hot, my body bro. didn't feel like my body my mind my soul didn't feel like my soul my heart just felt like it really jumped out my stomach and walked away. Mm. That's how I was feeling. When that girl told me she not loving me no more. And just went about her day, like everything was cool after I broke down in front of her face, crying, 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 Dang. crying, crying. She never came and put her hand on my shoulder. Like, gone, it's gonna be okay. Not one time. She didn't come through that, not one time. 
That's all I wanted. She already made her mind up. And I didn't get that. Alright, fuck that. I didn't get that. I don't even remember what else she said in the video that address, but one thing I would say, when she do love, she love. When she do feel somebody, she feel, but it's like temporary, depending on the situation, you know what I mean? Like, and I, I just know in my heart, she will never forget me. And she won't. I mean, I will never forget her. Y'all had a good like, thing. Y'all not going to forget each other. Y'all came up together. So. She's young, you know. I met her when she was young. I was young, but I I don't think that has nothing to do with as far as what she said she wanna live her best life. You can live your best life at any age. This is the immaturity. Any age you can live your best life. She told me she wanna live her best life with me when we first got together. So this is how I know it's not just me it's not me, like I I, I did nothing wrong. She even said you did clarifying my loyalty. Like I did nothing wrong. Then her last video I watched too, um It's just like the feeling that you feel, feel now is how yes, I feel times 10, times 20, yeah. times 30. Every day, drinking in the house, alone. It was just me and Henny. Like, it's just like I felt Damn. alone. Even when you was here, your presence, I felt alone. That's because you, you took, you gave yourself to someone else. Like, you gave your mind, you gave your emotion, you gave your soul, you gave your attention to someone else while being around me. Damn. And I felt it. My intuition did a lot. Like, I felt that shit. And it just was, was, it's just it's heartbreaking when you know, when you feel like <clears throat> this person is there, they going to be the one for you, and they not, it's just fucked up. Like, that, that shit is fucked up. It is. That shit is fucked but up. But that's life and relationships, man. Relationships yeah, I thought, are so I tricky. I thought this girl was going to be the love of my life. I thought I was going to marry her. I thought she was going to be like my shorty. I thought we was going to have kids, house, that. all of that, businesses, all of that. No, no, no. How can it be like that when you give yourself to somebody else? You give your attention, you give your loyalty, you give your everything to somebody else. It can't be like that. Like, Man. this shit, is, it cannot be like that. And it's fucked up. Man, this shit hurt. It's fucked up. Like, but I'm going to be good regardless. I'm going to always be good. Yeah. I told you I'm in a better headspace. I feel better about myself. I'm back to working out. I'm back to feeling good. good. I'm back to feeling appreciated. I'm back to feeling loved around the people that love me. I'm back to I'm back to me. Feel me? I'm back to me. I'm back to a new me. And hopefully y'all can come on this journey with me. I changed the channel name to Life for All My Love because I want to show y'all me. I want to show y'all like me. Like you feel me? Like the real me. And... Yeah, and hopefully somebody is gonna deserve my loyalty and 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 my 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 appreciation for just uh uh uh, uh what do you call it? My appreciation for like a love, like a relationship, like yeah. oh my appreciation for love, love. for you loyalty, love my appreciation for respect. Somebody is gonna deserve it, you feel me? Yeah. And um just wasn't hard, like you feel me? Like it's, it's just and how, be like how that. it was and um Man, now you could do both. I don't really know what to say, so that's my that's the truth of what happened. <clears throat> I got cheated on. Uh and I have receipts, but it's like for oh, what? It's no oh, point in the receipts. trying to like justify this. And if she says she didn't, she, I mean, she's fucking lying because that's just fucking crazy. Like, it's the, like, she, she did. She better like, not make a video uh, of well, this because if she got some receipts. Coming home 3 o'clock in the morning. She gonna drop. Like, it don't make no sense. Like, it don't, it don't make no sense every day. Mm. And then it's like, mm -mm. <laughs> it's funny. Not 3 a.m. Yeah, every day. Cause Something I know, ain't right. Because I told this girl happy birthday on her birthday. And that was like back in August. Because, you know, it was like the beginning, but you just feel whatever. Then I cursed her out because it was like, she tried me. As soon as I left, this girl was back linking with the same person, back doing the same shit she was doing when I left. This is how I know, damn, That's I'm what she I wanted to do. Bro. Time. So I don't know how long this shit been going on. Dang. That's the crazy part. Could have been going like, on this for a while. Like, this girl got a whole boyfriend, a whole nigga now. Like, it's like, she do, it's though. Like, 
Yo. <laughs> Shit fucked up. And I don't care what y'all say. If y'all say I'm bashing <clears throat> Nobody was there when she was bashing me. When I was getting... My, my, my emotion was getting bashed. I ain't never hit this girl. I ain't never do nothing. Like, y'all wasn't there. So... What bash? It's no bash. She I'm not really you bash. I'm telling y'all what it is. Y'all want to know the truth. Y'all wanted to know for so long. DMs, so many DMs, questions, asking what happened, 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 what happened. What happened. That's what happened. And I'm not lying. You can see the emotion in me. Like I'm not gonna sit here and cry because I already told you I did that multiple times. Since that last day I cried, I said I'm not crying no more over this girl. Nah. Next time I'm gonna cry, it's gonna be a happy cry. Right now I'm happy. I feel good. I'm living life, I'm meeting people that's making me feel energized, energy, my energy is just high, radiation is high, and the people around me that I'm around now is making me feel better, it's, it's making me a different perspective of life, it's, it's, the energy is just so positive and and, and 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 uplifting and i'm glad she got people like that around her I, so yeah. I needed that i'm glad she got that and another thing i wanted yeah. to just her say something about she couldn't have friends that's weird because she didn't have no friends i only met like two of her friends and that's it like she didn't even have no friends like to have like and why wouldn't she not be able to have friends it's crazy yeah what kind of friends you it's want a, it's a situation <laughs> where she was talking about was one time <clears throat> Where, um, I, I'm not even gonna talk about that because it's pointless. It is, it is pointless because it's irrelevant. Like, it's just irrelevant. But her saying she, do you even, if, I wanna ask a question. If she couldn't have friends when she was with me, do she got friends now? I wanna know because I, what did I say to not have to, it's just, just weird. I lost all my friends, you know what I'm saying? But I got my friends back because that's what real friendship is. Like, Y'all see me, y'all be with my friends. Like, her saying she couldn't have friends is weird. Like, what, how you can't have friends? Like, so be with your friends. Like, now, come find me a friend. It's not that. Like, it's like, it's like all these little excuses to try to push me away to be with somebody who you don't even know, somebody who you lust or want and think you want, and not even giving you what I gave you. Like, it's crazy, like, and like I said, I'm not saying this to say I don't want to be with this girl. I don't ever want to go back with her. I'm elevated. I'm moving on. My camera is about to die. But I'm just going to say this. When you get in a relationship with somebody, y'all, make sure y'all find out individuality. Make sure y'all know what y'all yeah. want. Make sure y'all not, make sure you're in the right headspace first emotionally by yourself before trying to move on and be with somebody. And make sure Man, she is very emotional, especially right here. Like, and that's why I'm saying, like, I don't think that she's just trying to. I don't think that she's trying to bash Chanel at all. I just think that she's really trying to tell her side, but it really hurts to really talk about it. You feel me? Because I can feel that, like, when you were somebody five, four, five years, and one day they just wake up and they not in love with you no more. Like that shit hurts. So I I do understand like why she's so emotional, why it's so hard for her to talk about it because it's like it's a heartbreak, you know. And I don't know if this is her first heartbreak, it may be, but yeah, this is hard to take in. You are y'all both know what y'all want. Like from the beginning, if this if she would have just told me I'm not looking for a relationship, da 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 I don't know if I wanna be with you or be with him, her, or whatever. I don't think person. she really knew. So they don't you waste know? their time, you feel me? You can't always know I don't feel like I wasted my time. I feel like I learned. Yeah. And I just learned what to do and what not to do next. And it's just crazy. It's all the like, When you really fuck with somebody, it's like you want to get them loyalty. When I fuck with somebody, you got me. Like, when I fuck with somebody, you got me. You got my loyalty. Yeah. 100%. Especially if I'm in love with you. Straight up. And I just want to say, make sure y'all find, y'all always choose to pick yourself, self-love, and then y'all both can come together. Yeah. You know, have your individual lives, then come together and have your life together. You feel me? That way, you up. It could work from there. Every week, go up. So, yeah, make sure you subscribe and um <clears throat> hit that like button. Follow me on Instagram. I just dropped my EP, Toxic Season. It's non songs. And I'm talking the shit on that song because I made that EP when I was. Some of the songs. Some of the songs is new, but I made some of the songs on that EP when I was hurt. So. 
you're gonna hear what I'm talking about and based off this video and based off my EP you're gonna know check out my back of me music video I dropped that back of me it's another thing you already know and yeah the EP is, is um, it's a nice EP to put me on this journey hopefully y'all respect me for telling the truth and letting y'all know what it is and hopefully she don't come back on this um YouTube app lying because my friend, I, I gotta see, like, my friends, everybody knows the fucking truth, like, everybody knows the truth, mm -hmm. even down, down to now, they can see it, like, you already done moved on, you know, you got, you got your little boyfriend, your boo, or whatever, and, and, like, feel me, shit, it, it's, you always try to deny him, act in denial, I even, the last argument we had, I told him, I'm like, yo, go with your boy, you feel me, still in denial, but it's all good, and uh, yeah, hopefully one day you'll realize how loyal and how true and how real I was. I was just probably, I was just not the person for you, for me. And that's okay. Now I'm okay with saying that I'm just, I was not the person for you. And that's fine. We have memories. We did, um, we grew together. They did a lot together. What way, I don't know. But yeah, um, I did a lot for you. Hopefully one day you could appreciate the stuff I did for you without mentioning money. <clears throat> Like, um, oh, without mentioning that, I didn't pay for this and that. When I really, late nights, you already know the vibes. You know the vibes. You know the vibes. Like, come on. You know the vibes. So, please don't come in here and, and, and try to lie. You don't have to respond to this video. You don't ever have to justify it because you know the truth. <laughs> You feeling it now, this is all, like, you know, we feeling it. I watched your last video, we feeling it. And it's just fucked up. Yeah, that last video, she definitely you looked like she was said, feeling it. I thought it was in the video. You blatantly said in your last video, and I watched it because, first I'm gonna unsubscribe, because it was subscribed to our channel. But your last video was about me again. I haven't even talked about you in months, weeks. I never even talked about you. But um, people will send me the video, like, go watch the video or whatever. So I watched it, and you blatantly said the person you were now talking to is not giving you what I was giving you, and you to giving them. Like, that just, that, it just sounds crazy. Yo, yo, it just, how do that sound to y'all? That sounds crazy. But anyway, it don't even matter, because it don't have nothing to do with me. Uh, it don't. Um, I wish you the best of luck and prosperity, life, energy, Whatever you want to call it, hopefully you find somebody that you feel like you don't got to venture out to other people with and that person can be your person and you will never feel like you want to cheat on them and you never feel like you want to step out or maybe, you know, maybe you should just be single and find yourself. I don't know. Whatever you decide to do, uh, good luck and I hope you like, like elevate and stuff like that. You feel me? Cause I'm a, I'm gonna always go up. I'm gonna always elevate, and I'm gonna always do me, and I'm gonna always be loyal. And I just hope Man, that she one day you realize and see that. But yeah, that's all I gotta say. The best of luck to you. Make sure y'all go check out my EP and stream stop succeeding. Go listen to that song Frozen. That's the one right there. Matter of fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna play it at the end of this. And yeah, um, I just wanna say I feel good. I feel elevated, I feel better, my energy is up there. I was broken, man, I was broken, I was broken, I was broken, y'all. I, I was depressed. That. I lost 20 pounds. I was depressed. I was like 175, now I'm like 159. That's, that's, that. that's how depressed I was, and, and I'm glad that you God could, was she there did by myself. Weak, friends, when I seen them, was there by myself because like two months a lot of people ago, that like, they, like, they, like, they don't make it out, feel me? And I just she want to thank weight. God I um, made it out and that I'm in a better head for you. Even in a better face place and elevated and I'm just excited <laughs> for the future and excited for the new people in my life. Which is and, good. And the new ventures that I have. And I just want you to come on this journey with me, you feel me? And yeah, I'll be back with another video. It's a blessed thing. Every time we come around you, you know the vibes. I miss y'all. It's like I want to go, but I'm going to leave. But finally, I feel good telling y'all the truth. It's off my fucking chest. 
I'm like, well, let's talk about this shit ever again. Yeah. It's off Don't. my chest and I feel good. It's Move like faster. the weight is off my shoulder. And hopefully y'all respect me for saying what I had to say. If you don't respect me, it's all good because I told the truth and I know my heart. And she knows, I know what happened. Like, you feel me? There's nothing bad she can say about me. Everybody knows, she knows. I mentioned the stuff that she did say and that's what it is. So yeah, make sure y'all go subscribe and do all the team because I'm coming back. Show me some love on Instagram. It was just my birthday. I'm out of here. Bless him. Yeah. So y'all, that was the end of that reaction. That was a lot to take in, man. And it's so fucked up when it's somebody that you've been with for so long and it just abruptly ends like out of nowhere. You know, relationships are so tricky and um, they hard, man. Like you get into a relationship and you, you fall in love with this person and you do everything with this person and you think that this is the person that you're going to marry and spend your life with and everything just changes. I do, you know, really understand that. And, um, Shout out to all my life for even sitting there and, you know, doing this. I know it was hard for you and I know you didn't want to do it. But um, practice, you know, self-love, like loving yourself. Love yourself more than you love anybody else. Make sure that you are giving yourself that love because another motherfucker ain't going to do it for you. So just make sure that you're doing a lot of self-love, taking care of yourself, your heart, and heal before you get into another relationship, man. It's so important to heal. And this is for everybody. Like, healing is so important because you wouldn't want to go into something else. And that might be a good person and you do them wrong because somebody just did you wrong, you know. And that's why I really think that it's important to properly heal and take your time and practice self-love. And, man, that was tough. And like, Chanel, you told us half of the story, but... There's always two sides to a story, so, whoa, that was a lot. But comment down below and let me know what y'all think about this video. Just put, let me know y'all thoughts and um, y'all perspective on this and how y'all feel about it. Before I get out of here, y'all, please make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you never miss a post from your girl. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video.